So I just want to make it clear before we hop into this, I'm not talking about war or politics because it's abundantly clear that we live in prosperity compared to like horrible times as like World War II or something. This is more so focused on why men have it so much harder today to actually be successful. See, with so much pressure online now and with everything we got going around us, and by successful, obviously this could differ for everybody, whether it's you want to be a multimillionaire or just have a stable income, a family, a home, and find a good girl, a lifelong partner, that's becoming harder and harder than ever. But I'm here to tell you, it's all good. See, as men, we are bred to be competitive. So what I mean by that is when you hear the things of this video, take that as inspiration. Don't take this as a bad thing and just give up. No, 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 no. You hear the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video and take it as inspiration and know that you're gonna have to put in work to be the best version of yourself. Let's hop into it. Number one, like we just talked about, competition is heavy. See, before when you wanted to find that right girl, you just had to compete against your social circle. Well, that's now been magnified. So in other words, before it was easy. See, before you just had to stand out amongst your group of friends or the 10 dudes at your school or the 20 dudes at work. That was your entire social circle. So if there was a really pretty girl, like top tier, all you really had to compete with was with other maybe 20, maybe 30 men. But today, with social media, all she's seeing is good looking 10 out of 10 dudes that are super rich and look like Greek gods. Needless to say, competition has been magnified times a million. Which takes us on to number two. There's more better looking men. Look, there isn't no specific study for this yet. Jose University hasn't gotten his team of scientists on this yet, but if I was a betting man, I would assume that today's generation of men are way more attractive than previous generations. There is more technological advances on personal care, more information on proper dressing. There is more emphasis on fitness and health. And there is a higher interest in men becoming better looking. Mix all that with the fact that all women see on their TikTok and Instagram feed are the top 5% of men. They're gonna start thinking that this is the standard and norm, which just means you're going to have to work harder to look better. Good thing you got your boy guiding you, creating products that gets you to that gold standard. My guy we are dropping our new collection of glasses june 26 and if you've heard me you know what i've said before see glasses is that one accessory that one it's almost like a magic trick it's like makeup for men see frames it's that one powerful accessory that if you do not have in your wardrobe you are lacking you are staying behind because see, the beauty with glasses is that it hides imperfections. The beauty with glasses is that it's a perfect structure. So naturally, it structures your face and makes it look more balanced than before while also hiding some imperfections. On top of that, there's the health benefits. It's summer. The sun's rays are damaging to the skin around your eyes and your eyes. So wearing glasses that are polarized are also a huge benefit. Boys, the benefits are endless, and if you don't have a good pair of frames, you, you don't have to look no further. We are dropping four new designs, and when I tell you that these designs look sick, these designs will level up any fit you got going on, and the best part is, we use the best material. See, everything, Italian handmade acetate, stainless steel construction, polarized glass, and they start at 49 bucks. We sell glasses, prescription, and blue light, and here's the crazy part. We use the same materials that designer frames use. They're charging you, what, $200, $300 for a pair of glasses? You could buy four, five, even six pair of glasses from our collection, build an entire collection for yourself so you're prepared for any occasion. Number three, hypersexualization. See, we already know approaching women and trying to go get women, it's hard. Getting women while you are demotivated to go get women, that's even harder. See, there is no other era in history where you could have a sexual fling with a hundred different women in one day. And if one, for whatever reason, wasn't cutting it for you sexually, you could just close that tab and move on to the next woman, and then the next woman, and then the next woman. You could literally bust a nut 20 times a day if you wanted to with 20 different women. This has a detrimental effect to your libido, to your sex drive, and to your motivation to actually want to go out and mate. Not to mention that half of your feet on TikTok is probably naked women dancing, which just makes it increasingly hard to fight the stimulation and triggers of pornography that just leads you to this dark rabbit hole of hypersexualization, which is just hurting you, my guy, which is just, it's demotivating you. It's killing your confidence. It's also just draining your energy, which takes us on to number four. Your testosterone 
is lower. See, it is lower than your dad's generation on average, and it is also lower than our granddad's generation on average. See, testosterone is what makes us men resilient. It makes us less emotional. It makes us less stressed out. It gives us more energy and increases our motivation and our drive. Higher testosterone levels makes you more competitive. Well, that magic juice, it is dying off in our generation and it's on a rapid decline on average. Mainly, it's because of big companies. See, We've been eating and drinking out of plastic for years now. That contains BPA, bisphenol A. It acts like an estrogen in your body, blocking testosterone production. Then you have triclosan. It's found in most grooming products like toothpaste and deodorant. Then you have phthalates, which is found in almost everything that smells or has a scent. All of these ingredients lower your testosterone and you're basically microdosing yourself every day. This new lack of T levels or lower T levels makes men more fragile. It makes men more emotional. This is why you need to be aware of what products you're using. You also need to live a healthy life, eat the right things, go to the gym and make sure your T levels are on par. And finally, number five, we're still the ones that get rejected. See, women want equal opportunity when it's convenient, but when it comes to dating, we're still the ones taking the bullet. They expect us to approach. They expect us to take all the risks. They expect us to spend all the money. And ultimately, we're the ones that end up getting rejected, which is why your boy has been preaching to flip the script for years, boys. It is time for you to be in a position of power. So you're not the one that's getting rejected and stomped on all the time. Boys, that is it today. Those are five reasons why it is increasingly harder to be a man today than ever before. If you guys liked this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget our new sunglasses from Jay Black drop June 26th, and you're not going to want to miss that. That's it for me today. See you next time.